Oh, what an amazing story. Uh, it's kind of these two eclectic characters who don't get on to begin with, but learn to love each other in the most amazing way. I remember that time and that history, and it was really great to see it from that perspective. And because I remember the war, I remember people from my school going to war and the kind of UK perspective on it. Uh, and then we kind of see the infiltration of the Taliban and kind of uh, negative responses towards women and kind of the lack of power women have. I mean, it's a very poignant story. It's a story that I'm sure we know very much about the Taliban coming in to Afghanistan and taking over. However, there is so much lightheartedness and fun and love about the story. Oh yeah, the play definitely gives you an alternative view of Kabul. It's, um, I think it's what's really interesting is so many parts of uh, different countries that uh, our country has invaded and has uh, taken over or has helped out in war. I kind of already knew quite a lot of things, but what I did love was that you're seeing more, the masses are seeing more of like the youth standing up for their rights and breaking free and like fighting the system and as she says, being herself. She, no one tells her what to do. I'm my own person, so yeah, I think that was really refreshing. Uh, we don't see the cultural side of things. We don't see the day-to-day -day citizens living their lives and actually, like, had no clue, had no clue about pre-Taliban uh, Afghanistan at all. You, you don't always get an insight into other societies, and I think watching the play really gave me an insight into, into a different society how Western music influenced that society and then how that society kind of pulled back and said, no, we don't want this anymore. What do you think of the set design? Do you know what it was giving me? It was giving me like digging it, meet smile, meet like, um, like VHS, what, what's it called, VH1? Remember that music channel? I really love the use of screens and music videos and just those images from music videos that we know images that we can relate to, that we try to emulate as kids. Yeah, yeah, they made a lot. They made a lot of, um, they made a lot in a small space, I thought. Ah, oh, the set design was awesome. Absolutely fantastic. I felt like I was 14 again, watching Top of the Pop, and I was immersed into the show. It was absolutely fantastic, yeah. I love the set. I love the set design. Like, that was the first thing I obviously saw, and um, it just, it really created an atmosphere of the 90s, I felt, and the early 2000s. I felt like I was in a set on top of the pops or something like that, do you know what I mean? Did I enjoy the music in the show? Are you joking? Of course, I was brought up in the 90s, well, 80s, but... There wasn't a song that I didn't know every word to. <laughs> and embarrassingly so. I never knew I knew all the words to Enrique Iglesias. Yeah, I'm not a, bi I'm not a big Britney Spans... <laughs> Britney Spears fan, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm yeah, the music was bringing us back to the noughties. And... Yeah, I did like the music. Like, that wasn't my type of music, necessarily. There was a few artists that I saw, like, their pictures. I was more into R&B. All the kind of tunes that were on top of the pop. I sang along to every song. But I, I, get, I get the, like, connection between the music that was chosen and the story, the, the story that they were trying to tell. So I think the, the music worked well for the play, definitely. I would recommend anybody. Everyone. Everyone. Oh, I don't know if I can throw it up. Absolutely everyone. Especially if you were a teenager or a young person or, you know, you remember the 90s. I think everyone can gain something from watching a, a show like that. I think there's an, every audience will get something from it. I really do. And I think you will laugh. I think you'll smile. I think you'll reminisce because the music's great. Obviously for kids, probably not a slightly, a slightly inappropriate, but anyone who was a 90s baby, 80s baby, this has got everything. You know, the costumes are great. You can see a little bit of yourself if you were a 90s child going through it. If I was to describe the play in three words, I would say... Honest. It's moving. It's devastating. Raw. Progressive. Regressive. Fun. You have to see it right now. Strong story um, and very emotional.
filled with talent.